guys, welcome back. So I feel like I've done about a million and a half grooming videos, haircut videos, but I've only done one bath video recently and I keep getting asked about like conditioners and stuff, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use conditioner on this Yorkie. Now, also for dry time, I opened up my top vents on my van. That's specific to handy people. If you're trying to dry faster, I like having my heater on and then I open my top vents. All right, so we're gonna get started. I have some Hydra whitening in the bathing system because he needs a little bit of whitening, but not like a ton. When they are like super yellow, then I use the eye groom. The eye groom is just like really um, intense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to get his body wet. My nice soapy water. I wonder if he got fixed. I just started thinking about it. She's talking about it. She was actually originally gonna breed him, no, he didn't. Um, but she's gonna breed him, and then she just can't deal with the little boy tendencies that unneutered males tend to have. The marking and all that. The attitude, the hormones, you could say. Yes, sir. You can need the boy. That's what your mommy said. She said you were in a good boy recently. He's at that age. You know, I have a, like, he's probably close to a year now. And they get, like, kind of bratty, you know? I've had that happen with my dogs, but like they uh, hit a certain point in their lives and they get bratty. It's like their teenager phase. I think that's kind of where he was getting. Anyway, so I'm just going to wet around his head. This is the whitening shampoo, so it's not what I want to get in his eyes. It would burn.
lathered up super well. We just want to go to bed or all over the body. He's so tiny. Little sticky dog. Little stick figure. Alright. This is just the regular water that I'm rinsing my hands with. Now you go ahead and grab a towel out. I like doing the towel midway, by the way, too, because a lot of dogs, they see the towel and they're like, I'm done! So then they'll start jumping all over. So if I do the towel midway and dry my hands with it, it kind of stops them from doing that, if that makes sense. Isn't this Java sock cute? My client gave it to me, not him. His mom actually gave me some Bath and Body Works soap for Christmas. It smells amazing. Um, but anyway, a different client, Otis's mom, I've shown Otis on here before, he's like a sheep poo. She got me this, and it matches my phone, man. It was so cute. I love it. Take a couple sips of my drink. Today I have the Ice Passion Tango. I'll show you for those of you that like to know what I'm drinking. Ice Passion Tango Tea with Lemonade. So good. Sweetened. I do get it sweetened. But you can get it unsweetened if you prefer. Alright, so now we're just going to take that bathing system one more time and just really run it through. Anywhere, like the armpit, back of the leg, all those areas that might be still a little greasy. We really want to get in there now. I love when I have a dog that needs to get some whitening to do the whitening in the bathing system. I really feel like it gets them whiter. I could be crazy. Like, I used this uh, whitening, the Hydra whitening on the schnauzer that I grew in, like, every three to four weeks yesterday. And she looks, like, amazing when she's done, like, crystal clear almost on her hair. Like, she's just so beautiful. So, anyway, that's the main reason I want to use it again. I want the same look on Mr. Nelson that Miss Sadie got. I didn't record that one. Well, I've, actually, I have recorded Sadie before her exact haircut, but I still do, so that's why I'm just before Sadie. We don't need to be doing duplicates. I mean, we, we kind of are, but it's like, you know what I mean? Okay. So, we look good. You can really do this as long as you want to. I'll sit here. If I'm really feeling nice to be, I'll just sit here for a while. Like really run this through. You're not gonna get them too clean, you know what I mean? Like they can only get it so clean, so it's okay if you want to sit there and be a little OCD about it. Alright, so he feels good. Turn that off. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys the conditioner anyway. So I give him a good rinse. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start draining my tub as well. So I do have a tub that, like, I can hold the water in and then I drain it um, for my bathing system. But not every bathing system is set up that way. So if your tub isn't that way, you can either A, get, like, a little plug, you know, like you would use in your own bathtub to stop the water from draining if you get something like that. Or you can get a bathing system that doesn't require the plug if you need to go there. Okay. Now, we actually have two options right now of um, conditioners we can use on him. I'm going to go for the Chris Christensen because it's kind of a ride or die for me, for my Yorkie, so that's what I'm going to use. But another option would be this Squalane shampoo from Hydra. Let me grab it. So, we have two options. So, maybe if you guys have either of these in your cabinet. This is my favorite for your keys. This one also does really well. It's um, for anti-frizz. It says for drop coat dogs. Um, so, these are both really, really light conditioners. That would be great on a coat like this. Now, I will condition him like once every three to four grooms, I would say, roughly. It's, it's really when I can feel the coat needs it. But... I'm saying that to say I'm not going to do this every single time. Okay. Now, I've got about that much. 
I'm going to rub it together in my hands. And we're going to rub that through him. This whole body. Now this conditioner is not like one that leaves the hair really nice and silky. It's like, it leaves it almost like that squeaky clean feeling. Um, but different conditioners are going to be different. Now the eye groom, de-shed conditioner, for example, that's one I would only use on a dog like Luna or a Pomeranian or something with super, super thick hair. If you were going to use that de-shed shampoo, or sorry, the de-shed conditioner on this dog, you'd literally ruin them. You would literally ruin their coat and you'd have to rewash them. So you got to make sure whatever conditioner you're using makes sense for the hair type. So this is a pH balancing conditioner that was actually formulated for terriers. So it's actually closing that outside cuticle. Somebody has asked me about dry time too recently um, and how conditioners can speed up dry time. So when you're shampooing, that harsh alkaline shampoo is blowing that cuticle, that outside layer of the dog's hair, wide open. Now, to get it dry again, we need to close that cuticle back down. When you use a conditioner, it is already starting to smooth down those ridges and close that, close that cuticle for you, so it's going to push the water out. When you don't use a conditioner, the little things, think of a pine cone, right? So those little ridges are still sticking straight out, and they're going to stick together, they're not going to want to dry, and if they're sticking out straight like that, you'll also damage them. You can blow them off and, you know, whatever. So. That's why we want to use a conditioner to close that cuticle. Now, a conditioner could be a leave-in, or a, like a, I don't want to say cream rinse, but like it can be like a conditioner that you put on in the bathtub and then rinse off, or it can be simply just a spray leave-in conditioner. Nine times out of ten, I just do a spray leave-in. iGroom has, in my opinion, the best variety of the spray leave-ins. I'm just chatting with you while this sits, because the instructions do say to leave it on for two minutes. So you want to follow the instructions to get the best result, right? So we're going to let this sit for the two minutes. Um, but like I said, right now, this is closing that cuticle and getting that hair ready to dry. Um, it's also going to help with frizz and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I personally like that conditioner. Um, but again, that squalling conditioner does a really good job as well. So we've let our conditioner sit. So we're just going to rinse him again. One more time, and then he will be ready for drying. I'll let you guys go. But super easy. He's still not, I would say he probably uses maybe three to four gallons of water. Even with the conditioner, he might use five if you're curious. So I don't typically worry about the water. I don't run out of water with using the baby system and stuff. All right. So that is it, you guys, here. I am going to show you what leave-ins I'm going to use on him. And then we will be good to go. So, I'm going to wrap this little tiny body up. I'm going to knock these bubbles down in the tub real quick. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. If I don't, if you don't, if you leave like a bunch of bubbles in the tub and you dry them in the tub, then you'll end up flinging bubbles all over the place. Trust me, I've done it so many times and gotten a clean halfway dry dog covered in bubbles. So, just a word to the wise, that's how I do it. And Nelson, by the way, if you're wondering, is a viewer terrier. Thank you, you viewer. He's so cute. of the squalane anti-frizz conditioning spray and the magic breeze breeze, magic boost scissoring spray from iGroom. Okay. So this red one is super light. It's like a scissor spray. Um, it doesn't have alcohol in it, I don't think, but it works kind of like it does. Like it helps to dry that hair faster. The squalane is our anti-frizz, which on this type of coat we're going to need. Alright, so those are both really, really light. So 
they're safe to use. Like, you don't have to worry. Like, I mean, obviously, you're going to know if you're using too much of those. So, don't overdo it. But, yeah. So, that's our simple conditioned Yorkie bath. Um, and I'm going to go dry him. And, yeah. If you want to see his after, go take a look at my Instagram. I'll try to post him there. If he's not there, he'll be on Facebook. Um, but I'm not going to record his groom because I've got a doodle puppy I'm going to record next. So, I just figured I'd show you guys his bath. It's something a little different. Uh, and I really wanted to talk about conditioners. So, I'll keep making videos like this. Um, let me know. I can do one uh, for different breeds. I really need to do a video on Luna, like a good D Chef video. But anyway, I'm going to go finish him up. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.